I was asked once in a television interview, do you fear God? And I said, absolutely not. Well, that caused quite a fervor, as you can imagine, because we are taught many times in our religions to fear God. People want to know what is the difference with positive Christianity. I think this is one of the key points. We don't fear God. Well, a widower contacted me and he said, you're not Christian unless you fear God. And then we were talking for quite a while and he was talking about his wife that he had just lost and how dear she was in their marriage of over 50 years. I said at one point, I said, did you fear her? Fear her, he said. No. Uh, my soul came alive when I was around her. Think about your parents, your, your wonderful mother, your wonderful father. If they were really wonderful, did you fear them? Think about your, your children that make your day brighter, your grandchildren. Do you fear them? How much more is the love of God towards you? How much more is the acceptance of God towards you? God is a God of love, a good God, a loving God, unchangeable in that way. So many times we read Bible verses like this. This is a traditional interpretation of Proverbs 15, verse 16. It says, a simple life is in the fear of God, is better than a rich life with a ton of headaches. Well, my friend, if you look back at the original meaning of the word fear, it changes it completely. If you have a good concordance like Strong's, look it up. The root word means respect. Well, now that changes it from the negative to the positive. Do I have a healthy respect of God? Oh boy, do I ever. But do I fear God? Do I tremble in my boots when I think about being in God's presence? No. And you shouldn't either. Now we go to people of all religions and we are a supplement to your faith no matter where you go to church. But I ask you to think about these things and think about your faith. Is your life a life of moderation or accumulation? Are you more interested in possessions that you can acquire or in the person you can become? Well, the answers to these questions will go a long way in setting your direction for this day. In time and the direction of your life in general, my friend, when you realize that God has your back, you realize the greatest possession that you can ever possess is a healthy faith in God. You don't need so many material things as you do spiritual belief. It will equip you, and in that powerful spiritual equipping, it will make you rich in your soul. You'll know that you know, and you'll also, you'll feel the love of God. You will not repel it. You will accept it and allow it to come in, which will change everything. When you're infilled with the love of God, it tends to pour forth from you towards others. In our affluent society, countless people and corporations will vie for your attention, for your time, even for your dollars. Don't let them succeed in complicating your life. Keep your eyes and your life focused on God. It's so easy when you, when you have a healthy respect of the love of God. When your material possessions are sometimes distracting you from your heavenly God. Discard them if you have to. If 
Your outside interests leave you too little time for your family or your faith. Slow down on the merry-go-round and better yet, if you can, get off that merry-go-round and get on another path. If your life is filled of headaches, get back to a simpler existence. Now this is easy when you're walking in faith with a loving God that has your back. Things outside of you don't distract you the same way. Oh, they'll get your attention for a moment or two, and then you'll recall and remember to go to God who loves you entirely, who wants to help you completely. And you'll have again the abundant life in your soul that only God can offer. And you'll find your heartaches will absolutely melt away. My friend, I wish you a day of complete awareness of the love of God.